And welcome back. We are getting ready to venture off into our third and final segment for this morning. Very, very uh, wonderful segment. Huh? This month, we can tell you. Actually, we've got some missionaries to, who will be speaking to us on their work for the hearing impaired. In with us is, uh, and I'm looking around here, in with us is Vonda Hamilton. She's a founder, Expressions uh, of Emmanuel. She's the one you can't miss, You right? can't miss her. <laughs> <laughs> also, Sayla uh, Burnett. She's a volunteer, Expression of Emmanuel. And Deborah Bloomer, Director of... Uh, Christ for the Nation Believes. Guys, good morning. Lovely. Good, good morning. morning. Welcome. Welcome. We're so excited to be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Woo. So let's talk about it. This missionaries, missionaries speak on their work for the hearing impaired. Wow. But there's a story to tell before as to, uh, uh, I think it's Vonda. Yes. There is a story that uh, how you got around to all this, how you got around to all this. Well, Let's, my, my, what, my sister what? is in a wheelchair and mm -hmm. I worked with people with disabilities, but I never met the deaf. And so then I finally met the deaf and I said, oh, I need to be able to share Jesus with them in sign language. And oh. so then I learned sign language and went on and God just led me door after door after door. So it was wonderful. Yeah. And then my daughter has taken up the work too. She's doing other things, but she's working with the deaf as well. Yeah. So now, when you say you're working with the deaf, uh, what is the the you want to teach them about faith? But obviously, you have on this this festive outfit for yes. a reason. There's there's a, a level of engagement that you're trying to Visual. achieve. So yeah. Open your eyes is perfect yeah. idea for mm -hmm. the deaf. You gotta open their <laughs> eyes. So I want to talk to you just a minute now. Okay. I want you to oh let's get this paper out of here, but I want to ask you to touch and feel now no peaky. I won't. <laughs> I promise. No looky. Yeah. All right. So yeah. you got to touch and feel and guess. And okay. try to guess what it is. What is in there? No, no peaky. Ay! <laughs> 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 okay, what is it? This, what is this? She doesn't know what it is, okay, hmm. Okay, wait, let me try another one. This one is a <laughs> mango? A mango, <laughs> maybe it is a mango. Okay, um, let me try another one. Okay, I feel a little stem here. <laughs> <laughs> and it is a squarish, circular shape. Oh, this is hard, yeah. This is difficult. More, more difficult, huh? Yeah, see. Si. Oh. Mm. Una mas. Oh. Mas. I separated it. Oh. <laughs> but I don't know what Something it is. Something's breaking apart. Yeah. Okay, um, I'm, I'm gonna, I have to guess one. Guess one, Is please. this grapes? <laughs> Maybe grapes, let me see. Hmm, I do not know. Now we're gonna. All right, I got an egg. Is that an egg? An egg, oh, we'll It's see. very heavy. Let's see, let's see. All right, now your turn. All right. No peeking. Yeah. Oh, then I gave him all the answers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he has to guess. He has no to peeking. guess. No peeking, no looking. Ay, ay, ay. He's not scared. Well, He's the first brave. one Yeah, is, you wasted it on me. There's, a, there's an orange. An orange. The second one an is... Orange. Uh, ay, ay, ay. Yes, yes, so. Uh, this feels like a... You know, here in Belize, there's a feast like that. <laughs> Maybe uh, it is one of the one, fruits. I don't know what it is. Oh, no, one of the something. I do not know what it is. This one is definitely the egg. Egg. And uh, banana. Banana. Uh, grapes. <laughs> and. Um, uh, He's looking at your head for inspiration. Oh. <laughs> That's what it is. This, is that, uh, this one is a. I think it's a raspberry. A raspberry. <laughs> yeah, I think so. And is there one more? Uh, when oh, he's very good. Mango. There's a mango. Mango. All right. Let's see. All right. We're going to teach you. Sailor's going to teach you how to sign this. These are bananas. Oh, yes. bananas. Yes. All right. Yes. This is how you sign And what? Now, you mango. guys are special mangoes. Oh, okay, what <laughs> mango? We spell mango. <laughs> but we don't know. Then here they may use something else. And then this is the one you took apart. Strawberry. Uh, strawberry. I said raspberry. Strawberry. Yeah. All right. We also got the... Another mango. Another mango. <laughs> Very mangled That mango. one fell from the tree. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> we got an orange, yeah, right. Right, an orange. Where's and the egg? I don't know about the egg. Is this an apple? <laughs> apple, <laughs> so some apple. All right, another. Another so apple. The, you guys learn the sign language. You okay, got this. Come on. Apple. Yeah. Very, very good. All right, and then, oh, you are right. There are eggs, but this is different lesson. 
<laughs> this is another orange. I'll right. show you the eggs. The eggs are not supposed to be in here, but they've got a good message too because but I got these are little, little toys, and you you know they had a motto. They say they mm -hmm. fall down, they they wobble, but they they always get back up. Is oh. the, um, the motto, and that's what we're supposed to do. Even though we may fall down, we got to get back up. Oh. Well, all right. These are fruits, and this is my mmm kiss from God bag. Mwah. He tells us he loves us. And you know that old Eve, there was a snake, and he said, oh, come here and look at this fruit. She said, no, 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 God said not to eat it. And he said, oh, go ahead and eat it. And so she ate. She said, come here. This is a sign for tempt. She sinned. She got hooked. She got hooked. It's mm -hmm. very bad. Then, you know, like the meat, you cut, cut a cow, you put it on a big hook, it's mm -hmm. dead, the meat. So we do not want to be a dead in our sins. Anyway, so the snake, he told her that, and so this is very bad fruit. So she was taken in by the fruit, and she said, oh, it's delicious. It's yummy. Everybody rub your belly. Yum. It's a yummy for your tummy. Oh, and it's so pretty. And oh, if I eat it, I will be muy intelligent. And then, oh, it'd be so smart. And then all these different things that she was taking. And this is a very bad fruit. But good news, when Jesus died on the cross, he uh, stomp all over that devil. And uh -huh. when he rose from the dead, he uh, won the victory. So this old friend is no friend at all. But there is something important. In the New Testament, there's a different fruit, and it's a very good fruit that's different. And I've got to teach you the sign that comes from Galatians. Lava, come on now. Mm -hmm. Lava, joya, mm -hmm. joya, and so, a pizza. Oh, it's not pizza. <laughs> Love, joy, uh -huh. peace, mm -hmm. patience, mm -hmm. kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness and self-control so this is like you got you, your self you self-control self and then this is your horse whoa nelly you know the name of the horse whoa nelly ourselves Woo! can't eat too much gotta keep myself in control nine the fruit mm -hmm. and when people look at that fruit in your life then you go hmm what is it there's something different about them and you can say ah that fruit is Jesus in me. Uh -huh. And you see, deaf people, they need to learn in a fun way so that there's not just like boring. This is a yeah. sign for everybody, sign the boring. 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 Oh. We've got to make it exciting and visually stimulating. Yeah. We've got to open their eyes. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, I, it's interesting. Obviously, you've, you've done, and I'm, I'm sure this is only one of the lessons that oh, you do. Oh, many, um, many, many, many. And it is very captivating, even for us mm -hmm. who are not deaf. And I think... Uh, it definitely speaks to the fact that uh, you have put a lot of effort in being able to deliver the message in a mm -hmm. way that people would want to receive it. Um, expressions of Emmanuel. Yes, my uh, daughter's going to explain how to sign that for I, us. This okay, show, show it to us. So here, we take our pointer fingers and we go like this, we crook them, and then we put them over our face where we make expressions. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or it's expressions. So there's three different ways to sign it. So you take it over here and you expressing from your heart. Which you mm -hmm. have. Which you mm -hmm. have. Okay. And then express. Well, this is the story. Yeah. So this story, is how we express. Story mm -hmm. of the word of God. So there's the three different signs. But we use expressions expression. <laughs> of Emmanuel. Okay, you might want to do that again. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> Sorry. Expressions. Expressions. Expressions from the beginning. Expressions yeah. of, and you just connect oh. your fingers. That's standing up. That's okay. you and me so, and every person Yeah, in the this world. represents us, and this represents God. Okay. And so this is Emmanuel. So he walks with us. We're never alone. And don't want to lay it down, because then we'd all be sleeping together. He does sleep with us. <laughs> <laughs> This is oh, this is sleep? No, that's no, oh, but I mean, oh. this is a, might be a classifier for somebody laying down. So you can okay. do it up okay. like this. But he can't, yeah, like this. That's <laughs> the name of our ministry, Expressions of Emmanuel. Okay. And, and, okay. and why? And because you can't have, and she's going to show, you can't say, oh, Jesus. You can't say, oh, Jesus is wonderful and have a straight face like this. You can't say, Jesus is wonderful. Because the deaf have to see the expression. It's yeah. not just the Would sign Would you believe language. me? No. 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 you got to see the expression. Jesus so yes. is wonderful. Jesus is on your face. So the expression makes the language. Yeah. Without yeah. expression, it's dull and void. Yeah. It means nothing. So. So, so let me bring it over to Deborah for a second. Uh, you are the director of Christ for the Nation in Belize. And tell us a bit about how you made the link with expressions of Emmanuel. Wonderful. Well, we've known Vonda and the entire family, their whole crew for mm -hmm. many, many years. And uh, they basically have the same aim we do. Mm -hmm. we're, we're here to give the youth and the young people 
um, a foundation, a mm -hmm. biblical foundation in the Word of God and the truth of the Bible. But not only that, to raise them up and yeah. inspire them to go on mm -hmm. and be world changers and really make an impact. And that's exactly what they're trying to do, teach the Bible mm -hmm. and make an impact on the deaf to change their yeah. lives for good. Yeah. She's been a great friend because in the United States of America, she helped to recruit uh, one of our wonderful interns who did artwork. Uh, mm -hmm. You can tell them about Samantha. Yeah. So they every uh, every summer, right? You yeah. They take interns in, mm -hmm. and it gives young people an opportunity to get experience hands-on mm -hmm. in ministry and, and also help build their resume, but also learn how to minister firsthand to the deaf. And, and we had a daughter that participated in that and she loved it. It was yeah. a lot of fun. And she went with us to Las Vegas where we met with 40,000 deaf people the first time. Wow. And then there was an estimated 50,000 deaf people at the second convention. Yeah. First time she went, she just knew a little sign language. Second time she went, she signed fluently. So it was wonderful. It was four years in between, but that was their, uh, like an adopted daughter to them, Samantha. Yeah. And yeah. big help. And she's an amazing artist, which is important for visuals yeah. with the deaf. Let's, uh, let's get to, uh, uh, because it's very important to eventually uh, communicate with everybody because we're we're all one. Mm -hmm. What are the? Yes. If I would want to uh, start in terms of uh, l learning sign language, so I could sign or so I could communicate with my brothers and sisters who are in this situation. What are some of the basics basic things to learn? Is it a hard thing to learn? No, it's not hard to learn, but you just have to keep at it, just yeah. like any language. Like, I don't really think Spanish is hard, but I'm not fluent yet. I can, I can communicate in it. If I just stay with it, I could become fluent, mm -hmm. you know, but it's that commitment. But I, 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 every time I practice it, I get better mm -hmm. and with, with uh, Spanish. And, and uh, you know, and so the same thing, sign language, you just got to keep with it. Sometimes people get really interested in it because it's beautiful and, oh, it's graceful and all of that. But you got to have a love for it more than just the beauty of it. Yeah. You need to love it enough to do it because there's a people group, beautiful people who are deaf and talented and yeah. wonderful yeah. that you can encourage and they can encourage you. Yeah. We met two deaf young women here in Belize. One is a Tara, and it's interesting, we do the T different in our mm -hmm. sign language. In ASL, we do a T like that, but that's not nice to hear. You do a T like this. There's a Tara. Uh, Teresita. Te Teresita, and, and uh, she lives in Spanish Lookout, and also Sandra, two beautiful women who are deaf, and uh, they they are so, uh, you want me to take this off? Oh, that old devil, he's gone. Is that what you want? Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. going <laughs> the mic. Ah, you know, yeah, you know sign language. Tell him about <laughs> meeting, meeting Mr. Perez. Yeah. Tell them oh, about well, that meeting. Yeah, but first I'm going to tell about them. They're, they're beautiful young women, and yeah. uh, we're, they're, they're talented, so... Mm -hmm. Um, it's important to communicate with people, and then you tell about it. Well, <laughs> <laughs> we were uh, we were in Stan Creek, uh -huh. and we came across a young man who was working uh, for another okay. missionary, actually, uh, a Mr. Perez, and he lived in a community where there were no other deaf people. So when except Vonda, for one. except yeah. for one, and so Vonda and Sela met him and began to reach out to him. He had never heard the gospel. He began to hear the gospel and his eyes began to well up and you could tell he was just really affected by having someone step out and care for him and communicate. Mm -hmm. So I think it's wonderful that you're bringing this up mm -hmm. because when we learn how to communicate, it just ministers so much to their hearts. Mm -hmm. But he, we found out that this man had hired many people, but all of them, the best worker he had was the deaf man. And I think that's a really key wow. point. Yeah. Deaf people are normal people. Yeah. They're intelligent, normal people, mm -hmm. and they can hold jobs and be productive members of society. But the key is education and training. Yeah. So the three um, main deaf schools here in Belize are really essential for deaf children and even a deaf adult to go and learn so that they can be launched out to be productive members of society. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, I think this is such a key point because, you know, I've actually met young people who are being included within what is the normal school setting. In fact, right here, uh, we have two girls who, right at the school next door, I should say, <laughs> um, there are two girls who are brilliant. Mm. They're very intelligent students and they are functioning in a hearing world 
with their personal uh, interpreters. And it's such mm. a great example of what people can achieve if given opportunities. Yes. And that's a good way to do it, but yeah. also the school for the deaf, they can have role models who yep. are deaf and it can be all in sign language. So both can be really wonderful. Yeah. It depends on each yeah. student, but a lot of deaf people like being together in a group. Not yeah. that they can't be with the others, but that they can learn together. Yeah. So. And what I was going to ask, because I think it's important, you know, you have this interaction with this specific vulnerable group on a continuous basis. And they're vulnerable because oftentimes people with disabilities are marginalized within different societies. That's right. Some societies are great mm -hmm. at adapting. Mm -hmm. Not all are at the point that they need to be. Um, what are some of the, the lessons that you have learned from working with people who are hearing impaired? Well, the deaf, and I often use the word the deaf, yeah. uh, the deaf are talented, they're wonderful, they yeah. can do all kinds of things, but they are taken advantage of. Tell them the story about our one friend who was uh, kidnapped and that story. Oh, basically we had a friend, actually this happened in America, where she was kidnapped mm -hmm. and um, she was taken and she was forced into sex slavery. and. It was a terrible situation, but she managed to escape, mm -hmm. and she went to the police, but they couldn't understand what she was saying. Wow. Mm. So they, they were able to capture her again. And so that just shows like how can, when communication is lacking, that um, it's just, yeah. it's difficult. Like bad things can happen, and we want to make sure that we can connect and reach out to all people. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter if you're hearing, deaf, mm -hmm. we're yeah. all people and we're all yeah. precious in the eyes of God. And mm -hmm. families need to learn to sign, you know. Very, very important. Many, many families mm -hmm. don't learn to sign. Yeah. Tell them about our friend. You remember Jerry Don? Mm -mm. Well, there's one man, he, had, uh, he was deaf and his parents never learned to sign. When he was 70 years old, he was bitter against his mom. He just hated his mother because she didn't learn to sign. Yeah. And we see this again and again and again. You're at Thanksgiving, you're at a vacation time, and all more family comes in. On an everyday basis, you're alone, and they're all talking. You don't yep. understand what they're saying. But then it's Christmas, and it's Thanksgiving. It's even worse because more people come over to the house, and more people are talking, and more not understanding. And so you we have understand. to learn to sign. Yeah. We've got to learn. And I don't know where you teach it here. We there are people who teach it. Yeah, we need yeah. to take those classes. Yeah. Parents, you need to learn to sign. Brothers and sisters, friends. And sign properly. Mm -hmm. Sign properly. Yeah. That's because right. Because there's universal words and communication. Right. You don't want to have just homemade sign language because yes. that happens a lot. They'll take one deaf person. You were telling the one, the preacher told you this story mm -hmm. about, you go ahead and tell that. About the, I'm about sorry. the take them at home and just lock them, basically oh, yeah. locking them up the, in a the, room. One of the directors at Cayo Deaf Institute, mm -hmm. uh, Clarence Teasley, and also Leonard Lowen were expressing um, that a lot of times what happens is the, the, a deaf child is born into the family, the family doesn't know what to do with this child, and they kind of lock them in a bedroom, they think they're cursed, the family's yeah. cursed because of the child, the child never learns to communicate properly, and they become angry, and then they get, start, get, they get into trouble when yeah. they get older. And he was saying, if the parents only knew yeah. how their lives uh, could be changed and their potential unlocked yeah. to be a gift to the community, really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so there's the Cayo Deaf Institute, there's the Belize uh, School Academy for the Deaf, mm -hmm. um, and the, there's also the St. Peter's in Orange Walk, yeah. are three of the big deaf schools. Right. And then Stella Myers does work with Yes, yeah, Stella Myers, yeah. that's Here right, the Belize. Belize. Does yeah. work with children with all different disabilities, yeah. including the wonderful. USA, there was a deaf woman we met last year, she's 24 yeah. in Arkansas. The United States of America, not, you know, all nations are wonderful, but a lot of people think, oh, everything's perfect in America. No, 24-year-old girl, her family kept her in the woods in Arkansas. Mm -hmm. Father would not let her learn to sign, would not send her to school. 24, met her last year, and she's a beautiful person of God, but she has no language. I see this all around the world. Been to Kenya, wow. been to uh, recently the Philippines, met the same thing. They kind of make up a sign language. I, I know that it's happening here in Belize too, that yeah. people keep them and they, they don't learn sign language. They don't feel precious and they don't understand what's going on. Yeah. So therefore they're not very intelligent, but not of their own fault. Mm -hmm. They weren't given the opportunity to learn sign language. Not that deaf people, deaf people are not dumb, mm -hmm. but just like everyone, they need an opportunity for education yeah. to know that God loves them, but to know that he is Emmanuel. Because, you know, you know, I'm thinking about it uh, because there are a lot of stories here. Uh, you've been all around the world and uh, talking about stories of people not learning sign language so they could communicate with their loved ones. But what about the pressure of having to learn it? And, it and, is and pressure. Being, and, being, and being 
uh, and the and the thought of having to fail learning it and then can't or not being able to communicate with that individual. I think this is something that's uh, behind your stress. mind. It is stress. It is stress for them. I adopted two deaf children. My friend who had two deaf children were born to her. Mm -hmm. I was just learning sign before I adopted them and she said, you know, Vonda, I am she learned to sign well, but she said, I'm really proud of you. She said, but you know there's a big difference between you and me. Mm -hmm. She said, I had to learn to sign. You chose it. You mm -hmm. chose to adopt those children. So I don't really judge the people or parents or family members. It is tough. Yeah. It's tough. I, I have compassion for them too. But we've got to get beyond our denial. We mm -hmm. have to say, my child is deaf. It is not a curse. Mm -hmm. My God loves this child. You know, the man who is born blind in the Bible, they said, whose fault was it his parents or was it, was it him? They sinned or something? It's not that. It's not they've sinned in a past life. They're just born deaf. Being deaf doesn't mean you can't do things. Yeah. It doesn't mean that you can't achieve things. Yeah. My, my son works and my daughter who's deaf, she went on a mission trip to Ghana and she's working in massage therapy. Mm -hmm. She came, was adopted age five. She had no language, but we taught her. I took all these things, Apple, I took her everywhere, books, I showed her everything. She learned smart as can be. Yeah. Reads and reads and reads. Has challenges with reading, but she reads well and she's smart and she's uh, a blessing. Yeah. 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 So tell us about the work that you'll be doing in Belize. Oh, thanks. Um, yeah. We're very excited. We've been meeting with local pastors mm -hmm. and trying to find out what the greatest needs are. Mm -hmm. And we were meeting with uh, Pastor Ronald of Cornerstone Church yesterday and mm -hmm. Dave Moore of Fusion Church. These are in Cayo. But they were telling us a couple of real, uh, real, real important things that we need to focus on. They were talking about how Belize is there's lots of evangelism. There's been teams from all over come to evangelize and hand out things yeah. and so forth. But there, what is lacking is a is a discipleship program. And we know there's a Bible college here in Belize yeah. City, and there's one in Punta Gorda. Uh -huh. So we're starting in San Ignacio, in, mm -hmm. in an area where there is no Bible college, to raise up leaders in Belize, uh -huh. to take to go into the next the next generation, and to launch them into whatever they're being called to do. But not only that, try to it integrates some computer skills and things so that they can get better jobs. Mm -hmm. But um, the other issue was worship leading. We were told that a worship school was really needed here so we could raise up worship leaders for the churches. Um, one, of, one of the pastors was telling us oftentimes when the worship leader leaves the church, the church collapses. Mm -hmm. So they were saying this is Very really personality needed. Personality driven. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. So that's, that's part of what we're, that, that's really a big part of what we're hoping to accomplish. Okay. Thank you for asking. And then fitting in uh, the work of uh, expressions of Emmanuel. Uh, who has been helping us search for yeah. the deaf here, so it's been wonderful. So we've identified the schools, and then you will go in, and, and what, is, what is your uh, aim or your objective in your visit? We want to get these sets of videos out to the deaf. We want to also go and do programs in deaf churches, deaf schools, character development programs, wherever we can use, be used and serve. We want to go in and do different things. We have suitcase full of, of these things. We just brought a few <laughs> of our props. And we have all these different things. And we want to go in and do programs and bring, bring the lessons alive uh, for the deaf. And, yeah. you know, there's not just a few deaf. There's a mm -hmm. lot of deaf in Belize yeah. even. But tell them, honey, how many well, deaf? Honestly, on our we have a website as well, and so like on our card, we have a YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. So we want to connect people with the resources that we have, yes. so that they can watch the different Bible lessons that we have and the devotionals. And so, and the what we want to do is we want to encourage the community. So we're not here to like try to take charge or anything yeah. like that. We're just wanting to encourage the established um, assist. Mm -hmm. okay and assist and then just meet the deaf people that um, aren't necessarily in the areas where they have established schools. So yes, uh, Brother Teasley, right? Mm -hmm. He goes every two weeks to different areas that have no church and he explained, he'll go, you know, so some cities only have church service for the deaf maybe every two or three weeks. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to, ch here today we're saying, come on churches! 
who follow God's word, the Bible. Let's set up ministries for the deaf, please. Yeah. And families learn to sign and, and watch our, our website. We have a YouTube channel. We also have a blog on our website. So there's lots of things. If they don't have a church, they could go on and watch and learn a lot just from our website. And we yeah. use that around the world. And American Sign Language and Belize in Sign Language is almost the same. Yeah. So it's easy transition for those sign language. And in the world, there's 200 and 50 million deaf people, only one to two percent are Christians. And that's, that's a, some people say it's 300 million, but that's an average, I guess. And some people say it's a lot less, but there's huge. Mm -hmm. And if, if you brought them all together, they'd be the fourth largest nation. So, I mean, you just have to think about that. The numbers yeah. are crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And how much we're doing to reach out to them. So, mm -hmm. uh, if somebody's watching right now and uh, wants to be able to get in touch with you to find out about uh, getting access to the DVDs or knowing where to go to check out the YouTube channel, how do they reach out? And how long are you going to be here for? We're just here this time till the 16th, so oh, just okay. next week. But then you can contact we'll be Deborah. Yeah. 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 And, so. and we're going to come back and visit them, Lord willing. That is our intention, our plan. But we will be leaving DVDs, and then we're going to also be sending more. We brought four sets only, but mm -hmm. we're going to—we definitely know we need more than that because right now we're going. Which who do we give to first? <laughs> uh, you know, so we want to make sure to. Maybe may even if we don't get to come soon, then we may mail some sets to her yeah. to give out to What's the deaf. The email? But email. our email is um, Vonda Bland. That's V O N D A B L A N D at M S N dot com. Our website is www dot expressions of Emmanuel dot com mm -hmm. and it has a link to our YouTube channel, our Facebook, our, our Twitter, all that kind of stuff. So that's okay. really good. Hey, wow. I'm, I'm so fascinated by the yeah, sign language. Yeah. It's, it's so, <laughs> but you know, we appreciate you stopping in. Obviously you've been all over the world spreading this this uh, this realizing your mission um, and encouraging people. I think that's one of the most important messages that we do need to learn sign language and especially even more so if you have someone in your family mm -hmm. who is deaf. Because you don't you know. want to make them be left out. And a yeah. lot of times people don't realize they're leaving their kids out. Yeah. And then later, years later, there's all this bitterness. We have one thing that, where's our little tug of war? Let's show. Oop. One of the things that we want to do is you know, there's often in this world, between the hearing and the deaf, there could be a tug of war. Yeah. There's this tug of war. And we don't want that. We want families to be whole, deaf, hearing, hard of hearing, all no. together. So we have to bring them together with love. Oh. You know, we have to bring them together. And we actually do that drama because sometimes yeah. when your family doesn't sign, then you can be angry at yeah. them, bitter, you know, and the parents. Why don't I have this deaf child? It's hard. How can I communicate? And you know, those can be feelings. I'm often they're very happy, but I mean, there are some people that actually feel that, and we need to um, help bridge the gap and bring people together to God and to God's love. One of the cool things Helen Keller said: blindness separates people from things. Okay, say, where's my purse? Where is it? It's uh, on your left arm. Oh, <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> okay, so. Helen Keller said blindness separates people from the things, but she also said, but deafness separates people from people. I don't know a word you're saying. Because she's learning sign language oh. right now. Oh. See, she, she's you just see, learning sign language. I read her lips. She okay. said, please help me. Right. Okay, <laughs> I got that part. She obviously needed help, but yeah. I, if I don't know how to sign, it's true. then and, I can't help and her. And Helen Keller it's said so it separates separate. people from people, but well, mm -hmm. I add a question to Helen Keller's thing. I say, but does being deaf mean that you're separated from God? No. And the I mean, answer, of course, not. is no, 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 no. God mm -hmm. loves us, but we have to bring it visually. You have yeah. to open your eyes, mm -hmm. make it visual so that deaf people can understand and see. And they're like, I could grab my big old Bible and hand it to them, but a lot of times that's challenging. Yeah. Uh, you know, my daughter, she, she learned idioms, and one was, uh, oh, you got cold feet, you're afraid to get married. And so my daughter's trying to learn that because she hasn't heard it, not this one, the other one, the deaf daughter, Cloudy. And she said, oh, cold feet means that you're afraid to get married. So hot feet means you're excited to get married, right? <laughs> you know? No, not quite. And so pronouns that we overhear, yeah. uh, verb tenses, all these different things can be complicated. You go to read and words that we take, we just take. 
take for granted or difficult. We did a little thing with a kid. It was a drama, and we said uh, excruciating. We said, do you know that word? And the kid said, no, I don't know. So I'll wash dishes, you dry them. So we did that, and then they, all of a sudden, I was, I, they were washing, using the towel and drying it for me. And then I was, oh, I'm going to wash this knife. And ah! ooh, I kept my, ooh, 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 it's excruciating pain. Then I asked this child, what does that word mean now? And they said, uh, lady, I think that means a lot of pain. <laughs> and I say, right. But that hearing child was able to understand the word. from the word, from the context you used. Yeah. But what if you were deaf with your mom in the kitchen? And she, You've never you, known. Yeah. How would you know that word? Does that yeah. mean you're not smart because you don't know that word? No, it no, doesn't mean you're not smart. Yeah. You That's right. don't know. That's right. So we don't want to feel sorry for uh -huh. deaf people, but yeah. we want to know that they need help and communication and we need to work together and stand beside each other. We like this one thing that we do, it's hand shapes or poetry in sign language. Mm -hmm. So this is God, we need to get underneath him. Come on, y'all can do this with me. And get underneath him. Mm -hmm. We need to take our pride and you do the same hand like this, pride mm -hmm. and put it down. We need to get underneath God. Mm -hmm. We need to get beside each other. We need to work together and it is good. Okay. <laughs> that one I can do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so, so anyway, so yeah. But we want to thank you for stopping in. This has been a you. great conversation, yeah. and we really hope that people reach out to be able to find out how they can get some of these tools. Mm -hmm. And you know, it is always important to remember that we have to reach out to people who are specifically vulnerable or perhaps uh, not mm -hmm. included the way they should be within any society. So mm -hmm. thank you for doing that. Thank you so much. And it is, much. it is yeah. not their fault. That's no. right. No, need to no. Help. no, they right. are not yeah. cursed. We are all equals yeah. in Nobody. God's eyes. He loves us all. Definitely. All right. Well, we got to go ahead and take that final break now, and when we come back, we'll have our wrap up. So stay tuned.